Hi, it's dinner time with China Taste Lab. Today I'm doing something really special. I just got off a flight, the Chinese Eastern Airlines, and uh, they served me food. And while I sat there hungry and anxious to eat, I decided that I would wait so that you guys at home could see what an authentic Chinese airline food meal would taste like. So everything you see here is what I got with my box. Um, with these crackers, not sure what this is, not sure what this is, and what is in here, we will find out soon. First off, we have the onion cookie with original flour. Sounds awful. Mm -hmm. That's onion and a cookie, right? But not all that bad, just kind of a strange combination like when you accidentally mix your cookies with onions. Next up we have the hickory kernel. I assume these are pieces of walnuts, but I'm not sure. Really crunchy, really slavery. This is a big step up from the peanuts that you get. Um, way to go on these uh, hickory kernels. That's really actually fantastic. Next we have aviation radish. Pop this open. Probably not too many people at home in America that have had anything like this. It's sort of like their version of a pickle. It's slightly sweet, um, sour but not nearly as sour as a vinegar pickle. It's good. I love it. Um, you probably will too. If you ever get a chance to try it, I'm not sure you ever will. I'm sure they have it at any Asian grocery store, to be honest, though. All right, and we're going to go into the box. Now, this was steaming, piping hot when I got it. Unfortunately, it's been in the fridge for a few hours, so not going to be like that anymore, but I'll try to pretend that it's hot in my mind while I eat it so I don't review it low just because of that. So we got some more crackers in here. Doesn't look like this has any English besides Tiki, and that appears to be the Kraft logo. So let's give this a try. It's a really big Ritz cracker. It's actually really satisfying, buttery. Tastes pretty goddamn good. We have a bun in here. Is that chocolate? That's chocolate. This was warm. I'm sure it would be a lot better too. I'm pretty satisfied with the way this tastes. But at the end of the day, it's just a piece of white bread. But the chocolate, not too sweet. Tastes like real chocolate to me. Almost reminds me of those uh, chocolate chip bagels that you can sometimes get, which are fantastic with cream cheese. Okay, and this is the real deal right here. This is the first time that I think I've seen uh, Chinese food in China that looks like the Chinese food in America. I know for a fact that the rice was good when it was hot because I saw other people eating it. So it's a little stuck together right now, but that's only because it got cold. Grab some of this vegetable right here. Spinach, bok choy, pork. You know, it's surprising that it's kind of spicy. I was not expecting airline food to have any kind of kick to it at all. Uh, flavor, pretty good. Not sure what the deal with that is. Kind of confused, a little scared that Chinese airline food tastes the same as pretty high quality good American Chinese restaurant food. They pulled that one off, which has a lot to say about how bad American Chinese food is, by the way. But overall, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Maybe not all the crackers and stuff, but their airline food here is embarrassing compared to how ours is. So keep that in mind. Come to China if only to eat their airline food. Thanks for watching China Taste Labs. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, I would give this a, um, let's say uh, for airline food, a big thumbs up. 